Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video, I'm gonna explain pivot charts for the Mac version of Excel. So yes, they are finally here. Mac users can rejoice. We finally have pivot charts for the Mac version of Excel, and here's one right here. So in this example, I have a pivot table over here on the left side, and then I have the pivot chart right here. I've also connected up some slicers so we can interact with this pivot table and pivot chart. As you can see, as I click the item in the slicer there, we have the pivot table filtered down. We also have the pivot chart filtered down as well. So what this means is that we can quickly create interactive dashboards now on the Mac version of Excel. So I'll go ahead and explain how to create a pivot chart. I should also point out that this is on an early release version of the Mac version of Excel 2016. I'll have a whole nother video that explains how to get that version. It is available to the public, so you can download this and try it out yourself. It's still a little buggy, uh, but it is working, which is really cool. So here I have a pivot table on this sheet, just a regular old pivot table. I won't explain how to create that. I have another video series on that as well. But all we need to do for the pivot chart is just select a cell inside a pivot table. Then we'll go to the insert tab on the ribbon right here, and we can just choose from any of our chart types. So I'll just uh, select this bar chart right here, and that will insert the bar chart onto the sheet. Of course, we can go format it and clean it up a bit, but now we have a pivot chart. Now there's nothing in Excel right now that tells you this is a pivot chart. In fact, the uh, pivot table, uh, or I'm sorry, the pivot chart or the chart formatting tab is missing up here right now. I believe that will be added pretty soon. So we will get the formatting options for the chart. Uh, currently that's missing. So we need to go into the right click menus uh, to format the options and the data labels and that kind of stuff. Uh, for the chart, but we do have the pivot chart here and we can see that it's interactive if we just change a field over here in the pivot tables area. So let's take salesperson out and we'll just put region here in the rows area. We can see that both the pivot table change obviously as well as the chart. So these two objects are now connected and we can also insert a slicer here. So we can select again, just select any cell inside the pivot table. We'll go to the insert tab on the ribbon and then choose slicer over here. And we could insert a slicer for any of the fields. We'll choose region and salesperson and hit okay. And now we have slicers on our sheet. Of course you can rearrange these and, and line them up and everything. Uh, but now we could quickly interact with this and then filter down both our pivot chart and our pivot table for any of the items in our slicers. So again, this quickly allows us to create an interactive dashboard in Excel. And I have a whole nother video series that explains how to do this. And I'll jump over to this dashboard sheet here. That video series explains how to create this dashboard in Excel based on a uh, list of data or a table of data. So we start out with this nice big table of data that looks like this here. And then we go through how to create pivot tables and pivot charts to ultimately create this interactive dashboard. And again, since pivot charts are now available in the Mac version, this now works on the Mac version. So we can create a nice dashboard like this and interact with it with slicers in our Excel worksheets. So very awesome news here. Like I said, this is an early release version, so there's still a few bugs and, and things to be worked out, uh, but I will have another video that explains how you can download this early release version and start testing out these pivot charts and give some feedback to Microsoft because they are looking for your feedback to help make this even better. So great news again here. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave a comment right below this video. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you are watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.